Hello guys, this is Paul Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Welcome to my video about the comparisons and playing with the multiple versions of my receivers. Here you can see the Quansheng UVK5, which has been modified with the version number one. There is no preamp and antenna is shared with the VHF and UHF antenna. There are internal VHF UHF filters, so I expect that there is some attenuation in these filters and signal coming th through the antenna will be weaker than on the second version I have here, which is also the UVK5 slash 8 version of my Quan Sheng. Here I'm using 2.5 version modification board, which is using this external secondary port for the secondary antenna. And also there is integrated already or built in already the pre-amplifier. So I presume that signal will be better on this radio. Then I have also the ATS mini receiver. This receiver uses also the high Z much inside, which is kind of pre-amplifier. And it's using this small whip antenna. And the third one will be the ATS120 decoder, which has been modified by me or by myself. And you can also see the video on my YouTube channel. This receiver has pretty big speaker and also good reception in whole HF long wave and middle wave bands. So for reception on the Kuangsheng's radio, I will be using this similar and same length antennas, which are intended for 27 megahertz band. The difference between them is just connectors. Here you can see the B and C connector and here the SMA female connector. So the B and C connector I'm going to use for my UVK5 with secondary antenna. And SMA female for this shared antenna with VHF and UHF bands. If you are looking for the same antennas, just go down into the video description. I will put the link for these antennas on AliExpress. And also you can see here the Donut antenna, which I got with this tiny receiver. So let me show you how these receivers works on uh, multiple bands. I have to mention that today we have quite poor radio propagation, so I'm limited in showing you the signals on those radios. So let's go. I'm alone and I live a little bit far away, you know, uh, uh, close to Avignon in the south of France. I have 300 kilometers to come back, so I don't to come back for five days, but not two. A little bit too far away, that, that's the problem, but it's like this, it's okay. All right, 73. Yeah, yeah, every day. Uh, I stay on board, I think, 10, 12 days, uh, for sure. And maybe after, if I have time, And your daughter, okay, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, with the kids. My, my, my daughter yeah, is... Everything understood. Uh, uh, just a quick note again. Uh, Of noise on the band. 
I would suggest to try a uh, killer noise. I, I tried that too because I just go a small, uh, uh, a small bag uh, with, for my D expedition when I go outside uh, for pickup. Yeah, okay, John, I received that from the killer noise. Okay, I don't know. And here let me compare the signal on the long waves, which is the radio Poland 225 kilohertz. And I'm listening on this small whip antenna and the SI4732 mini ATS receiver. Let me show you. This is the ATS-120, also very nice reception. Maybe the better than this one. So let me compare. Okay, and next let me show you if it's possible to receive the station on the modified Guangsheng's radios. There is just a sign of the signal. Just the sign. Maybe if I change modulation. One side band. But still just the sign. So this is with uh, the main antenna, the secondary antenna receiver. Also the same. Maybe if I change the modulation. Nothing much to see. And the ATS120. Same frequency, same bandwidth, and even smaller antenna. It's slightly 
shorter. So that's how it works on long baits. And uh, here is the shortwave AM station on 15150 kilohertz and the micro or mini SI4732 receiver. I found this very weak station here. Upper side bend, but if we go to the AM, it's actually deaf. And the Quan Cheng with CEC firmware and secondary antenna. Okay, this is quite significant difference. And back to the first quenching here. It's kind of deaf. But I have to say that inside there is no preamp. Here, that's the newer version of the board and preamp is on board. So maybe also the preamp is doing this good job on this radio. And now you can see comparison between CB band with antenna which is very well known, and the donut antenna. So let me show you on short waves how it looks like. So the AM station here. Okay, something there. And the vertical whip. Alright, as you can see that there is a huge difference in reception. over the, these antennas Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this short video and if you like the content don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and 73.